So Coralis, we're a four-piece uh, rock band based in Brown, Liverpool, and uh, there's four of us. So I'm Holly, I sing and play the trumpet. I'm Liv, I play bass and occasionally do backing vocals. And then we've got Amy, who plays lead guitar and also does bits of backing vocals, and Ben, our drummer. I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> So we, well, Liv, you can start this. Because so, <laughs> yeah, um, Amy, Ben and I were in um, a four-piece cover band when we were in high school. Um, and then, like, when we got to the end of high school, we, like, broke that off and, like, split. went to college. I know, it was tragic. <laughs> um, and then in college, I met Holly. Um, and then, like, we got on really, really well in all the bands that we worked with. And we were kind of like, oh, we need to do a project together. So <laughs> gathered Miss Woodall and Miss McKeown. And had a jam session. Bob Crawlers, and we used to be like, a, we, we were like, let's be Neo Soul, when obviously that didn't happen. So, <laughs> that didn't happen. not one bit. <laughs> <laughs> not even slightly. No, no that would have been interesting. So, no, we have like, like as a band, we all have very different music tastes. Yeah, it's a bit of an interesting mix, really. Isn't yeah, it? like we all have bands that we kind of agree on. So, personally, I. I I've got very punk roots, like my dad used to listen to loads of punk bands like um, X-Ray, Specs and The Clash and stuff like that, like this one, uh, stuff like that. And then also I'm very much into like my jazz, like Chet Baker and stuff, and then Amy Winehouse is a queen. Um, but then I also like punk thing bands, like I like Easy Life and 1975, but it's obviously the opposite of what we play. But respect what they do musically and stuff and then like your music tastes like the opposite of mine yeah it's like way. complete <laughs> polar opposite to holly like i'm dead into like my metal and stuff like majorly influenced by bands like tool and things like that um but then at the other end of that spectrum as well is amy with like you've got like so much indie stuff haven't you and, and amy winehouse and abba 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 shakes and then ben's like big into his rap and his like Drum music, you love Billie Eilish, don't you, Ben? Billie Eilish is obviously. sick, like, shut up. Yeah, <laughs> she's okay. sick. Um, but I think collectively, like, we all love Queens of the Stone Age, we all love Nirvana, yeah. Foo Fighters, and Muse. I think, like, mm. I think that sound just all resonates with us, and it's kind of the sound that first made our first song so tired, and, like, we kind of yeah. understood each other. It's like a way of blend, wasn't it? A uh, blend. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think we all have different favourite tracks mm. and songs. So, Liv, what, what's, what's yours, bro? I think probably Nymphomaniac, you know. Oh, I, like, I really, Yeah, oh, I really love playing that one because it's just like, it's so moody. Moody. <laughs> but it's like, I feel like that's what like Crawlers is. It's like the moody part of Crawlers. It's so I moody. Really I mean, like, like the funniest, not funniest, that's like going, I'm funny, but like, <laughs> we're like the giddiest, like goofiest people and we just make the moodiest music yeah. where it comes. Ben, what's your favourite track? I need to say Nympho or Breathe. I really like playing Breathe. Mm. It's very crooked vultures, isn't it? But it's just fun. Yeah. <laughs> I think my favourite track is one of our new ones, which is called Statues, which kind of went a little bit. That cool. one's heavy as well. Though, yeah, it's, it's very it's heavy, moody. but it's very moody, but very cool and political, and that's, that's what I like. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I think it's mental how much we've achieved in such a small town. Obviously, mm. being such a small band, like the fact that we've achieved anything, like is just amazing. So personally, I think reaching over 100k streams, I'm so tired. Yeah, that still blows my head a little bit. Yeah, to we're like so close to 200k. I'm so tired now, which is just mental. Like, and the fact that we've not just reached the UK, like we've got lo like loads of people listening in the US and um, that really like messed with me, like how well, many <laughs> international people are yeah, listening to our the song. Thing, it's like, amazing. The oh, it's thing bad. that like freaked me out was people in Saudi Arabia. Yeah, like, yeah, like was, you wouldn't expect yeah. people over there or anywhere else other than then uh, probably outside of Warrington. Yeah, no, literally. Never mind Saudi like people in Warrington, Liverpool, but also people in the US and Saudi Arabia. Like, <laughs> this is just, listen, so tired, it's just mental. And I think like seeing that we can do that with streaming and is just cool and I think that's defo our biggest like cool achievement right now. Mm. Um I'm big I, I think got I've got three so I love the mysteries, I think they are boss. Mm. Um Stone. Yeah. They're really good live as well. They're so good live and from Liverpool and Witch Fever who are just always lovely. Intimidating because they're yeah. just that cool and then they're like the nicest girls ever and they're like, oh hi and I'm like 
<laughs> Interesting. <Hard. laughs> yeah. Hard. Epic. I think it was one of those things for us that we just sort of panicked, didn't we? And we were just a little bit like, okay, what are we going to do about this? so much was going on for us at the time. Like, we, we were, like, yeah. talking to a load of people. We were, like, ready mm. to release a new tune, obviously. We had, like, gigs lined up, so, so many everything. festivals. Like, and we were so ready for all these things. We had, things. like, a big summer coming ahead, didn't we? Yeah, we, had we a lot did. Like, we had, like, Sound City and, mm. and loads of stuff like that. Like, And then, obviously, with the virus hitting in, it was a good thing that we... You know, start, we, for our first ever headline show, like we were going to do. Yeah. Like everyone had bought the tickets and everything. Yeah. And I had people messaging me being like, should I still buy it? <laughs> with all this going on? Yeah. Like, I don't know. <laughs> it was, it was proper, it was proper hard time. But like, yeah. I think it, it, we were so quick to adapt. I think as a band, we're quite quick on things like that. So we just mm. went, okay, focus is online. We'll do Zoom sessions. We'll try songwriting. We ended up playing Sims together, which was fun. <laughs> um, and like doing songwriting, just keeping contact and just mm. doing our own practice to make sure that we like, just like anything I think that we could do really to just like keep ourselves mm. active in it because I think the worst thing that we could have done was just do nothing literally I can't do nothing and I don't think any of us could actually just sit there and do nothing anyway like you said like I think we'd all just like we'd put, yeah. crawl in the walls at this point crawl in the walls that's why we could crawl no but uh, yeah so I think it's hard but I think we've managed it well and like now that obviously we you know small distance group we can rehearse again as long as we're careful is really nice and god ideas just exploded from the bucket like after quarantine mm -hmm. which i think is like one of the best things to come out of it and we're like mm -hmm. kind of ready to show off some cool stuff mm. fingers crossed so <laughs> we are doing a live stream on this saturday which is the 19th of july um 18th, 18th? yeah 18th, 18th of july um, with Aloe Sound, which is a studio, and that's gonna be really cool because that's gonna be like the first it's time. Really nice studio there as well. Isn't oh, it's, it's, it's really like nice. Boss and the guy who runs it, Jono, is just so lovely. Mm. Um, and that's gonna be like the first kind of like live gig that we do since whatever the heck we played last, which well, was the 14th of March. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, nice. And we're also obviously not sure if it's gonna happen, but we're playing Sound City, which will be the first like big festival that that's, that's gonna be huge if that goes ahead. No, no. Like, I think I think we're gonna be a bit scared. I'm that one myself, but it'll be so good. Like no, definitely. playing with my best friends, <laughs> um, and yeah, and then I think we have a couple of things up our sleeves that we can't mention right now. A little bit hush, a bit hush, hush. But um, a lot of stuff that everyone should be interested in. So thank you for having us. <laughs>